you know anytime i'm making these videos if i'm alone i know what to start with but when i have a guest i'm always in awe of my guest that you cannot go fuck up beside this man <laughs> so i don't always know what to start these videos with so this is the intro of this video welcome back to the channel everyone as you can see i have a special guest here with me today yeah. Derek in the building! <laughs> well, it's over here when I'm shouting like this, but I can't help it. I have a great smile in the building today. Welcome, Derek. Please introduce yourself to my people. All right. Um, I want to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm Derek. Yeah. <laughs> He's Derek. He's not a camera person, but today we have brought him in front of the camera. Me and Derek have a podcast where we talk about books, and I know he's not the camera person, but we are trying something new today, and we brought him on the channel to see this beautiful, should I say beautiful, beautiful, handsome, everything. This good-looking and intelligent man. Mm. When he starts talking, you will realize. Mm. <laughs> and in this video, we want to talk about House of the Dragon season two. Whoa, yes, this season has happened. It had its up, it had its downs, and it has finally come to an end. And now we can talk about it. Big yeah. Derek, what do you think about House of the Dragon season two? Hmm, House of the Dragon season two. Um, first, is it is way less beyond my expectation. Wow, yeah, yeah, because. Season one was um, more about introduction. Yeah. They tell us about the character, the build up, and all. So I expected season two to be like a kind of fire all through. Mm. So season mm. season two started well, started solid, until it gets to its peak at episode four. Mm. But from episode four to the rest, no, it was not even given. They lost me there. Mm, wow. They lost me there. So let, let's let's look at some um insights. First, first and foremost is Damon. Damon's okay. character. Damon is a big, is a bad wolf. You get <laughs> it's a bad wolf in season one. Yeah. Let's, but in season two, they literally turned Damon into a house cat. <laughs> from 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 a wolf to a house cat. Yes, let's look at season one. Okay, let's start from where he killed his wife. Hmm, yeah. He's he, wolf action. He actually <laughs> killed his wife without saying a word. Yeah, that's true. He bashed his wife head with the stone. He didn't even say anything. Or is it the is it um where he single handedly um handled crab feeders? That was in episode three, season yeah. one, episode three, yeah. There was a lot of exploit. Hmm. Or is it where um this guy was is he um i forgot the name was challenging versus authority and yeah, calling um <laughs> Call Rene 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 and awesome bastards. bastards then versus was like i want to I take your tongue, tongue. <laughs> the man just came from the back and chopped his head off you can't like, keep his tongue you can't keep your tongue <laughs> that is the typical demon mm. but look at um season two he was just in a castle having illusions and Hmm. I feel like they just killed that character. Wow. Yeah, to me because Demon was like one of the my favorite character. Mm -hmm. But in season two, he didn't do much. Yeah, he didn't do much. He didn't do much. He's just like so. He was tripping. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the word. He was <laughs> tripping. So season two was. I don't know. Maybe they changed the director or the showrunner, but the. The um the story the storyline was not given. Mm. It, it, it's just as if the writer didn't watch season one. Oh wow! Like it was just like giving us another direction. Like and most of the, most of the scene were like they were not resolved. They are not resolved. Yeah, most of the scene were they just shows an action and there's no consequences there's no no like, can you give an example I'm kind of sure now let's look at um amon okay. when amon burned a whole town there was nothing that came out of it mm. at the end the last episode of it 
Nothing. He burned the whole town, not came of it. Look at Otto. Otto was shown in a prison. <laughs> How did Otto go there? How did he get there? Hmm. Let's look at um Renera and his aunt, the kiss. Um my Zaria. My Zaria and that was all. <laughs> Hmm, okay, I think I, I've seen your point. You get so the story I was like, are, they, are these guys teasing us? <laughs> okay, I feel like first the thing about Demon that you said, I feel like they were just taking Demon on a journey. That okay. was how I interpreted it that they were taking Demon on a journey. At the beginning of episode season two, yeah. it was like it wasn't fully committed to Renera because Renera asked them that. Am I your true queen? She asked him, and that was when the fought that he slammed the table and he left and took his dragon and drove him yeah. and flew to Iron Hall. So I feel like when he got to Iron Hall, that was when he started thinking, okay, for Krenera, maybe I should even be the king. Maybe I should be the one to take this thing and just, maybe I, it is for me. So he started grappling with it. I feel like Damon did not have a lot of. A lot of things to do. He has some things to do, but he didn't have a lot of things to do because of the journey that they were taking him on. I think he was taking on a journey of is he discovery or reflection mm. that maybe he didn't really want he didn't really want the iron throne. Well, I've heard the showrunner of the show of Game of Thrones talk about how he thinks on what Demon really wants mm. is to be with his brother, is to be by his brother's side, is to be the one that his brother wants. Like if Viserys had called Damon and told and told Damon that Damon, I want you to be my hand instead of Otto. Things would have gone so much differently for his character. So I feel like Damon was always rebelling because his brother did not give him what he wanted. So he was rebelling on it, rebelling on it, and that rebellion spoiled on to season two and started rebelling on um, Rhaenyra becoming queen and him now going through this journey, going on this journey, wanting to be this thing. Then slowly, slowly, slowly unraveling and dis discovering that maybe I don't want this thing. Maybe Rhaenyra is who this this thing belongs to. That's how me I choose to interpret the journey that he went on. I just feel like it's, it's, it was a journey mm. that he went on. Okay. Yes, his character did not have a lot to do. Like yeah. his character honestly felt bland. I feel what you're saying. He don't have much. But at the same time, the way he was slowly unraveling in his mind. Like Demon is this strong character, he's the wolf, like you said. Yeah. But then it turned him to someone that is much the house cat. <laughs> For lack of a better word. It turned him to the house cat. He was just unraveling. I see the moments where he was crying. Like um he dreamt in his in his trip. <laughs> yeah, he, he saw the series. Okay. He saw the series morning um his his wife and he was just there and he was saying, I'm sorry, I wish I was there, blah blah blah. And I think all those things are just getting to him and it's just making him think of what he has done, all his actions he has taken. Because Demon is this person that any slight trouble like this, he will run away. Any slight, like it happened in season one when um, Viserys was giving him, okay, Viserys even banished him yes. from season one. Yes. Then in season one, then there was a time him and his wife, they left their place and went to Prentos, he jacked back from something. Then he, Renera in season two, episode one, him and Renera asked for fight. Jackpa again. It has even happened with Mazaria that him and Mazaria had one issue. And Jackpa, like that is who Demon is becoming. Sure. And at the end, when Rera told him, Flee from me, I be leave my side again at your own peril or something. I feel like it is him realizing that he can't just keep running away from who he is or running away from a situation just because he doesn't like the situation. I, mean, I just feel like it was a lot of character development for him. It was a very, very, in my opinion, it's a very, very ballsy thing for the filmmakers to do to just choose to show this guy in a very very um vulnerable, tender, vulnerable thank you thank you that's a better word in a very very vulnerable position because this is someone that we see as this wolf <laughs> do something mm. but they chose to take him on in this direction like i understand this but at the same time still wish that he had more to do he had yeah more, like more chaos, activity more so exploits had, yeah exactly so I, I i agree with you but I also see where the storytellers are from thinking. the storytellers perspective yeah too. and yeah. as i said this it made me think of the writing because i think what well, because before this video started derek asked me what i thought what i would rate this season and i said i rated it over 10 and he said well that's surprising and one of the reasons why i rated that was because the writing in this season was 
phenomenal. It was so good. It might not have had a lot of things that people wanted because I knew a lot of people wanted to see. Like most of this season, it was just talking and just character. But mm -hmm. I feel like they were developing the characters. It was more of character development. For instance, what happened with Damon? Damon realizing, okay, this is not what I want to be. Like dealing with himself, fighting with his demons. That is just brilliant writing, in my opinion. Then um, Alison, Alison, that was feeling, okay, I've done the right thing. I am on the right path. Then Renera talks to her and tells her, you, you are mistaken. Mysterious meant the song of Ice of Fire, not your son. She got that and started thinking crazy things. She was not even right in her mind. That was when she ran, she went to the forest. That was when she was swimming in the ocean. All those things were already unraveling out. She was like, have I unleashed a demon onto this world? Like, I feel like all that thing that we just showed was, was them showing us that she was like pondering decisions and she was maybe trying to regret it. And that was what still spoiled her in the end to go and meet Renera and try to to um reconcile yeah to try and reconcile so i just think the right scene was just so good even though it did not have like um a lot of chaotic moments a lot of explosive moments because i also felt that way that yeah. did not have a lot of explosive moments but i still enjoyed the drama of it and the writing of it mm -hmm. okay i've been saying things that i liked about it was there anything you liked about this season of house of dragon mm. season two yeah, yeah. I think I like the way Amon played his role. Mm, okay. Yeah, I feel I feel like he, he killed that role. Yeah. It was like like another version of Demon. Mm. Yeah. So like the Demon in season one. Exactly. Mm, like okay, the mini okay. version of Demon. Yeah. So I love the way he played his role. And um what that thing. I didn't I to be honest, I don't like this is like it didn't give me the chills I was expecting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cause um the season one was like more of a build up. I was exp uh, uh, expecting explosions. Yeah. And this season two. It's but... telling the finale, like even if you don't give us like you said, I've seen yeah. some people talk about the show and they said exactly what you said. They said season one, episode one to four was like, Okay, this shit like, is shit. Exactly. <laughs> like, this is what I want. Then um the second half it just felt like come on they just like release even, the break they just even the, calm final, down. the final episode i was like is this it is this it because <laughs> that final episode was like the 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 i didn't expect that that's where it will end until you called me I'm like do you know that um i have of the dragon has finished let's make it uh, wow because <laughs> i was not expecting it i thought there probably there's another episode yeah but the the final episode was like no 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 yeah no. I, okay. they introduced Otto how did Otto get how to did you get <laughs> I don't know and um um the two um queens going to each other's territory I feel like there should be more to that you like, get without you without mean. any consequences oh okay you get Alison came to Renera's um territory um Renera and, first went to Alice's yeah, Alice territory and nothing happens to nothing. both of them like there should be a consequence mm. because both of them are rivals you get mm, like there point. should be something from season one Alice almost stabbed Renera. Renera but there was no continuation yeah but you know the kind of in season one the kind of resolved maybe not fully resolved because now there's still problem but this is one episode eight when um the series the last the series last episode the episode of the series died he called a dinner where he called all of them to sit down together and he, he stood up he made a speech he removed his mask he buried his his rotting face to his family and told mm. them i want you to see who i am and all these fights and just stop all this thing and the fact that he was very vulnerable in that moment the fact that he showed his dying face i feel like it was something that hit renee and allison in that moment and as as they took the series away they talked with herself and they said maybe we should stop all this and then uh, rihanna said she's going to go to dragonstone drop the kids then she'll come back then the series died so all those things went to went to shit until but, Amon killed rihanna's son <laughs> so i mean like that should have point. Son. yeah but you know now um they voice they've also killed a grandson so that's not that from does not that it, exactly it does not count <laughs> Like that was most mm. of this um season two they didn't revisit most of um season one. 
like I said, it was like the 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 writer didn't even watch the one exactly. <laughs> and um, uh, there was something I remembered now about um the theme one. No, okay, I will come back to that when I remember that. <laughs> well, um, what I just talked about uh, about linear analysis going to insurance territory. I think yeah, very very very. Very very small feeling. They still have very very small feelings towards each other, like mm -hmm. because for their for their youth, they were best of friends. They didn't have anyone. They were the closest friends, and even though they can um, become estranged now, they still have even if it's just the most minute. They still have small feeling for them, sure. and she would not want to. Or they would not want to harm each other. Plus, nobody knew that they they were in each other's land. Maybe it's me that's just trying to defend. <laughs> defend that <Okay. laughs> but if you actually think about it it should be like it shouldn't be as easy as it was exactly just it was just easy. and come back like she's not going to buy pepe outside it just felt like yeah we need something like there should be a little consequence or something mm. like to just spice that whole thing you know both of them <laughs> just they like, came to each other's territory without no i i feel like that um alison and Nina meeting each other is the showrunners just trying to bring them together for some weird reason because i feel like those two characters are the um the main mm -hmm. the main anchors of this show so maybe they just felt the need to bring them together to talk or something yeah but um, hey you talk okay, you say something yeah um renera too has been like the 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 old um character the face or how should i put it now like i felt like she was like weak throughout the most of the mm. season yeah her decision making was very very awful there was a time she was like questioning herself if she was up to the tax yeah i know uh, i felt like in season one she was more of a very agile decision making mm. queen yeah. but season two she was very vulnerable yeah well you have to remember that demon was no she was no longer at her side i think demon left in season two episode yeah two. yeah two, two, but regardless renera was always renera in season one hmm, okay of demon or not hmm, you, she was always true. renera <laughs> but after this this season two she was like i was like there was a time i was telling you like i didn't like the way she reacts to most of the things that yeah, exactly mean. like her reaction is very very whack and she's quite some most of the time she just what should i do now what do you guys want me to do like Come on, you are the queen. Yeah, because she's the queen doesn't mean she has all the answers now. Yeah, obviously, but as a leader, you have to like make some kind of moves. But you you asking yourself, but it's cool, yeah, but not all the time. There are mm. times you have to like give direction. Tell them this is what you want. Yeah, but she you could argue that she she later started becoming her own person, like um having the bastards tried to tame yeah tame dragons. dragons and all like a lot of people on the council did not like that idea yeah they did not so but she, she was like fuck you guys this is what i want to do she i feel like she was struggling with it she she's not someone like demon or amon that when power comes to their hand they know the reason i'm you don't take so when this thing just come they're like fuck this one fuck this one <laughs> like see when um they named amon um they named him on i think that was in episode five they named him on the next in line after his brother was incapacitated i love that scene so much because Emond was just sitting there sitting there quiet on the other yeah. side like no no, no that. it's just the year that they talk <laughs> ali said they try saying amis was doing i mean just shut up you not talk anything then the moment they are now it's Emond. Emond just stood up immediately went to the other side and started putting others started giving others Amon has been thinking about maybe you can also say Renera has been thinking about it, but Amon has been wanting for it. But Renera on the other hand, she's she wants it, but she's not as desperate for it as some other characters. So mm. maybe that inf informed some of her decisions. I don't know why I'm defending this show so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I enjoyed it. I did not like the finale as well. Not that I don't mm. like it, I like some things, but I expected more from the finale. Yeah. Like should have just gone like that. So uh, so now I, um what what I forgot earlier was um sorry for cutting you. No shirt. problem, no problem. Um Demon's vision. What do you think about that vision? Which one? The the last one in the last yes, episode. Yes. 
I think that was just the crowning. You know, he has been tripping throughout the season. Mm -hmm. I think that was just the cap on it. That was just okay. You've been tripping. You've been tripping. This is why you've been tripping, and this is what we want you to see. I want you to understand. If they had shown him that efficient, like immediately he got into, you know, like what the fuck is this shit? This is not. This is nothing. It doesn't mean shit to me, and he just forgets it. But you know, in division, he saw Renee around the iron throne. Yes. So maybe was, that was one of the things that just informed the decision that okay. Yes, maybe this is what I have to do. What about the part where they showed Game of Thrones? Yeah. I, honestly, what I thought that was it? just pointless. Exactly. Like, <laughs> it was very, very the night I King? think they were just trying to give the viewers incentives. Like, yeah. you guys, do you remember it's, Game it's, of Thrones? Exactly. It's not like we're going to see them. Exactly. So, if, if, it was just very pointless. Like, if you were going to even show Game of Thrones, show us something we, we didn't see before. Like, I don't understand. Like, part of Game of Thrones that probably an explanation to something oh, that okay. the viewers were not aware of before. Oh, okay. Why are you showing one of what the great scenes uh, in Game of Thrones? Showed, uh, I feel like Daenerys you guys are trying to like, just better like, do you remember Game of Thrones, guys? Yeah, we are the one that did Game of Thrones. <laughs> so, so, like... Yeah, I agree with that. Showing that Game of Thrones part was pointless. It should, it should, if you just wanted to do that vision, you should have just shown the outcome of the war like that place where he fell into the water and he, he rose up and he saw Rene out there. That would have been enough. Not showing that exactly. he's showing. That, um, event, that was really, really pointless. It was pointless, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was one of the things that I did not like with the finale. The major issue I had with the finale was that there was nothing. There was no anything. Like season five, like you said, season one to four, where, where yeah, major yeah, well, things happened. Then the first, just stretched it just out. Just like exactly, just they did not give us anything to make the, that journey worth it. The mud <laughs> fight. I thought I would enjoy that mud no, fight, but like, it was like that shit did never feel like finale material. From why is this guy all of a sudden story in the yeah, finale? Like they didn't even build up on the guy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, who the fuck is <laughs> Thailand? <laughs> okay, it's one of um, um Amon's. It's on Amon's council. Yeah. But like his story was not as thick as the others. Yeah. And even yeah. the is it the pirates now? Yeah. I think that was the first time they will be showing yeah, those yeah. people. So they didn't build up on this character. Yeah. Much, yeah. And you guys were now fighting on the the mod fight was so <laughs> whack. I was like, what <laughs> is, is this? Is this your whole action they are going to give us in this final season, in this final episode? So yeah, I also thought all those parts were yeah, not but you know what I thought about the finale? Mm -hmm. as much as i did not like i liked it like i thought it was a good episode like if it was like if it was like the last episode before the finale episode whoa very very good episode that set up a lot of things that is going to come in the Emotion, next episode yeah. so it was a very very good penultimate episode but not as the final episode like, i think they, were, they are trying to build curiosity they want the viewers to be curious yeah what what will happen i we can see a gun being moved by yeah, Larry. How the fuck did you move a okay? <laughs> <laughs> like it is clutch. So there was a and lot Otto, of Otto in the prison. Like I feel like that's just like that was that was, that was, was more like next. how <laughs> it was very surprising. Well, I was like intrigued. Why is Otto in his cell? That is one thing I never ever thought I was going to see. <laughs> I think they are trying to make a is it plot twist now? Well, it's not even plotting at all. <laughs> it's not plotting. Well, I I thoroughly enjoyed the episode. I thought this a lot of things right. The music, like I think most of the music that they used, the music in season one. And when I was because I don't know if you pay attention to the music like that because um, no, really. the greens have their music, the blacks have their music. So anytime I hear a particular person's music, it just gives me so much <laughs> add so yeah. much to the storytelling of it that's why i honestly thought the writing of the show was brilliant the performances were very very good it's just that it did not deliver as much as like every season one season one had a much more impact mm. than season two did I, I tend to agree with that but i also see it that they're just trying to build and build and i honestly didn't mind that because me i'm already um we used to stories like that because one of my favorite um tv shows is breaking bad i don't have you seen breaking bad sure. you know that breaking bad <laughs> oh i did yeah. <laughs> you know that breaking bad things don't happen fast like that they take their time slowly slowly yeah. slowly 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 but, building but more things explode breaking bad is far more different from this like the storyline was straight you get the the there were a lot of action 
after the action but we not get the a lot reaction. to like yeah we get, we get the reaction from the action then the yeah. consequences but most of them um, season two as of the dragon was just action they just shows the action and that's all mm, maybe the consequences will come in the next season <laughs> next season i think they are just trying to stretch this thing out because why don't you put everything in this season? you know i i mean i might be wrong but i feel like they are trying to like you know one of the biggest issues people had with game of thrones the final season was that it was rushed a lot of people always complain about game of thrones being rushed the final seasons season seven and season eight they rushed it i mean those seasons had like Season seven had like six or seven episodes. Season eight had six episodes. So and they show that is normally ten episodes. So that's like four episodes of story that they did not tell us in those seasons. So I feel like they don't want to make that same mistake and rush into something. So they are taking time to expand and expand. I just feel that the way they are telling the story, the way they are building it, is to make when the consequences start happening, to make it much more impactful okay. because we've been waiting for it waiting for it finally give us this shit and i'd be wrong but i just oh. want to believe that it will be like oh. that oh. because oh. i want to be optimistic in season one yes we, waited. Waited. So. <laughs> we, waited. we saw you know i'm making the face like ah we're born everywhere jackalis on all these bitches in the next so why did i make <laughs> us wait again oh uh, i don't know what to say to that <laughs> but okay. It is what it is. I can feel your disappointment and I understand yeah, it. But at least you, you've been able to like it. give me more insight now. Oh, okay. <laughs> to some extent. To some extent. And I agree with you. <laughs> but still, <laughs> <laughs> I will rate it six. Six. Wow. Yeah, six. Me, I'll rate it eight. I thought it was very, very good because, like I've, I've said all my reasons already, I thought it was very, not extremely good, but it was still very, very entertaining for me. And it was something for me to look forward to. Every Sunday. Now that is over, and my Mondays will be boring again. <laughs> um, have you seen the the um teaser for the new show that the new HBO show, the new um no. train Westeros? Its um, title is A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. It is also set in Westeros, but wow. I think it follows just one character or two characters. It's not like a you know House of Dragon focuses on the house, two sure. houses. Game of Thrones focuses on houses and the whole world basically. But this one, I think it focuses on like one or two characters, Make and it's sense. a much more toned down story. Mm. I think they just want to give us that one in season in 2025 to make okay. us calm down. Okay. <laughs> make <Desert>. us calm down. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Until... Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> Until um, also Dragon comes back in season three. So, any final words, Derek? No, no, no. Okay. Um. So, have you seen As of the Dragon Season 2? What do you think about it? Comment below and let us know. I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree with Derek because a lot of people are feeling the same way Derek is feeling. But I also thought it had some good things about it. So, let us know in the comment section what you thought about this season. Derek, please tell them to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to... What's the name of the channel? Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My channel's name is Mr. Ogbo. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> so you uh, have to subscribe to the right channel. Okay, okay. Make sure you subscribe to Mr. Ogbo's channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.